AITA for being mad at the best man's GF for making him choose between a dog and our wedding? My fiancé, M29, and I, F26, got engaged last October after six years together and plan to marry this October. We both have a very complicated family so we thought a lot about our wedding and decided that we just want peace and don't want to worry about all the family drama. So we plan to get married in Italy with only our best man and maid of honor. It's only a four hours drive to a small city we once discovered on a road trip. We invited my maid of honor, his best man to the wedding. Call him Mike, M29 and told them that they could bring their significant other also. The trip would be fully paid and Mike is my fiancé best friend since kindergarten. Mike's girlfriend, let's call her Courtney, F28, and him are together for three years. We were very welcoming towards her and I befriended her also. We did a lot of things together. Help them move and build their home. Mike and Courtney are getting a dog hopefully in September. So Mike told us he needed a different hotel because the one we choose is not dog friendly and at the time of our wedding, October, they would probably have the dog. We apologized and looked for another hotel. Then he texted that Courtney thinks the dog wouldn't make the long drive which we understood. We said that there are probably a lot of friends and family who could take the dog but Courtney doesn't want that. Mike told us that Courtney would probably stay home with the dog and he would travel alone. Here comes the drama. The following day Mike wrote us he will not come to our wedding because Courtney doesn't want to be alone with the dog for the weekend and she also would like to attend the wedding. Courtney wrote to me that we could change our wedding month or the place. Maybe just a wedding in our hometown. So that they could come. I said no. If we married in our hometown the families would want to attend and all the drama between parents and siblings would stress us out. My fiancé asked Mike again if he couldn't come alone and he finally told us that Courtney threatened to end the relationship if he doesn't stay with her and the dog. My fiancé was absolutely sad and disappointed and told Mike his feelings. He's normally not over emotional but that was hard for him. Courtney wrote me the following day as if nothing has happened and I told her that I'm absolutely disappointed in her and can't understand her behavior and how she puts this dog who is in absolutely no danger or need to have two people dog sitting him over our wedding and kind of accepted her to apologize for all the stress she put us through. She called me an insensitive and offensive person. A Bidezilla who wants her wedding above everything and said she couldn't accept my behavior even. If I apologized, I just can't comprehend why I should apologize. I feel like I can express to friends if I'm disappointed and I absolutely didn't wrote anything. Offensive. Edit. Sorry for mistakes. English is not my first language. Edit 2. To clarify. There is no dog yet. They talked to a breeder. He said that if his dog mama get pregnant and has more than three babies they would get one in. September. Oh dear God. Op. Oh, tell Mike and Courtney you will be getting married as planned. And staying at your chosen motel as planned. And if Mike would like to have a free getaway and stand up for his longtime best friend. You would love for him to come. But if he can't. He will be replaced. You don't have to care if Courtney comes. Mike seems to like her. But she sounds unreasonable and angry. I wouldn't be upset at all if she didn't come. You are trying to have an easy wedding. This is almost an elopement. If Mike and Courtney can't get on board with your plans. You can move forward without them. Your wedding isn't about them or the dog they might have adopted by your wedding date and how the dog can't be left with a caretaker for a couple of days. Because the GF of your fiancé's best friend can't bear to do that. I roll my eyes. NTA. NTA. Courtney completely sucks and is plain unreasonable. I'm also very curious why they can't simply postpone getting a dog for a month. 
It's his best friend since kindergarten. Not some cousin twice removed. NTA. So the dog is still hypothetical? As in they don't own one yet but are thinking about having one by the time of the wedding? There has to be another reason either they can't afford to go or she hates you. NTA it was her choice to get the dog in that time frame. This is 100% manipulative and controlling on the best man's GF's part. Your English is great. And Mike and Courtney are pitas. They are trying to get y'all to reschedule and relocate your wedding over a dog that they don't even own yet? I am a dog parent who has no children so I am overprotective of my pack. But they are acting insane. All of our dogs have learned to love road trips. And when it is not feasible to bring them, they would go to a pet lodge. Is there a reason that they need to adopt prior to the wedding? Oi Vez. They are difficult. You are definitely NTA. NTA. If she's this way about a dog, God help him if he has children with her. I'm nearly sure once the best man is booted from the wedding they'll no longer be getting a dog. You are NTA but please let Mike go and plan for someone else to replace him. He obviously doesn't care for your partner that much. As a side note, this getting a dog just in time for your wedding feels like Courtney is looking for a commitment to bind her to Mike but he's not willing to propose hence the tantrum. All the best in your wedding. NTA and I feel a bit sorry for Mike TBH. They don't even have a dog yet I think even looking for another hotel so that they're currently non-existent dog could travel with them was incredibly accommodating of you. There are several solutions available to them. Wait and get a dog after the wedding. Have a family member dog sit. Put the dog into kennels. Have Courtney stay home with the dog. But the only solutions Courtney feels are acceptable would be for Mike to miss his best friends. Wedding. Where he is to be best man. Or for you to completely change your wedding dates or venue to accommodate their currently. Non-existent dog. You have nothing to apologize for. There is something else going on with Courtney. I really hope that Mike does go to the wedding because I think he will regret it later if he doesn't. NTA. He needs to break up with that nutcase. NTA. She's so incredibly selfish I'd delete and block her permanently. I wouldn't be in a rush to speak to Mike again either. LOL. There's not even a dog yet. And they're acting like this? Wow. This is an easy one. Don't change any of your plans. Do not apologize. Officially uninvite them seriously. You don't need extra headcount at the last minute because the breeding didn't catch. Replace Mike. And no matter what, do not change that decision. It would be really rude to the lucky person who gets to be best man. Move on. And be very, very happy. NTA. Courtney is an asshole and Mike a wet towel if he goes along with this. NTA. Courtney is putting a not yet inseminated idea of a dog ahead of your wedding. Courtney doesn't want to come to your wedding and is creating drama so she doesn't have to. Poor Mike being shackled to her. I hope they sort that out before they think about having a family of their own. She is already testing her BF. It's me or your friend. She wants to control him. Don't have enough infos but doesn't she sound like a narcissist? There is no reason why she can't handle one day without her BF. We are not talking about months. NTA. I'm sorry for your husband. But Mike is out. Sounds like Courtney is manipulative and controlling. I would stop making an effort to befriend her. I hope Mike figures it out and cuts the cord with her too. NTA. So you organized an out-of-town wedding to avoid family drama and ended with friend drama. Sorry. Is she jealous that you're getting married and she's not? 
It seems weird to cause all this mess over a hypothetical dog. But then some people love to do that. NTA Mike needs to grow a pair of balls and sort this out himself. He is the best man. It's his job to solve problems for you guys. Not bring you new ones. This should be a simple thing that at the absolute worst. Mike and your fiancé should have sorted out between themselves. This issue should have been resolved before it got to you. NTA. Expecting someone to change their wedding plans. Especially a small, intimate ceremony planned to avoid family drama. Is unreasonable. It's understandable to be upset when a significant event like a wedding is impacted by what seems to be a manageable situation. Your frustration with Courtney's ultimatum and unwillingness to compromise is justified. NTA, Courtney please tell me how many times you've heard or read about a wedding being moved to accommodate a guest's dog? It's not a thing Courtney. Imagine not being able to look after a dog on your own for a weekend. What's gonna happen when they have kids? Guess Mike will have to quit his job. This almost sounds like an excuse. She doesn't want him to go for some absurd reason and she doesn't want to go either. Now she has the wonderful excuse of oh we have a dog. We can never leave our house again. Count your blessings she sounds like she caught a touch of the crazy tongue out and Mike's no better for letting her dictate him being in his best friend's wedding. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.